Greetings, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. This is Shawin, and I do have a Haunted Mask Monday unboxing video for you. Uh, however, there are some uh, developments I found when I opened these boxes, okay? So I got a shipment from uh, Toy Wiz. Uh, they said they had the Haunted Mask Funko in stock, and we will take a look at that. Uh, but we also got two packages from Sugar Treat Studios. I don't know why they shipped them separately, and they didn't check the uh, the the pack list very well. And I'll, I'll show you here in a minute what I mean. So I obviously ordered uh, two of the haunted mask, one curly, the and one mummy, one slappy, and one bun monster. However, uh, slappy and the mud monster are delayed uh, till I believe sometime in November, and that was a shipping thing uh, with the ports or something. I can't remember exactly what it was. Uh, just the bottom line is they're delayed. However, they did ship out the Haunted Mask to people, they've shipped out the Mummy to people, and they've shipped out Curly to people. I am missing the Mummy, and why do you ask I'm missing the Mummy? It's because they put another Haunted Mask in there. That's right. So, I have three Haunted Masks. I, I don't... I love the Haunted Mask, but I don't need that many. Uh, <laughs> the only reason I got two was so I could take the tags off of one, and I could uh, try to put LEDs in the eyes, so I could just hit a remote and the eyes would light up. I thought that'd be a really cool thing to have uh, on a display piece. So I don't need a third one. Um, I'm waiting to hear back. I won't hear anything until tomorrow when they're open again uh, in terms of getting my mummy mask, what they want me to do with this third one. If they tell me to keep it, guess what, guys? I'm going to be doing a giveaway. So stay tuned. Uh, I will let you know what happens with that. Odds are they're going to want it back, though. But if they don't for some reason, Trick or Treat Studios, I'll put you into this uh, giveaway as well. And... Uh, We'll have a uh, kind of contest or something for people, and uh, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, so I'll keep you guys posted on that. But we're going to take a look at the first thing, the Funko Pop, because, guys, I have been dying to get this regular Haunted Mask. You know, uh, if you watched the previous video, um, I've got my Blacklight ones up in here. So, and oddly enough, my black, like my purple lights are going insane right now which is weird. Um, so anyway, uh, we're going to take a look at that. And right off the bat, I mean, I already got one in a plastic case. Um, no reason to check that one out because we're going to take a look at this one. The Haunted Mask. Check it, guys. Look at this. Oh, my God. As much as I love the Blacklight one, obviously, I think this one is just superior. The, the colors that they got on here really speak volumes to the cover that Tim Jacobus did. And I just love it. Oh my gosh, this looks so good, guys. Funko, I love you. <laughs> this is what I've been wanting for so long. I quit collecting Funkos, and you guys got me back into it with the Goosebumps line. I'm still waiting for that Werewolf Fever Swamp from Barnes & Noble. Uh, not supposed to ship out until October 22nd, so that should be very soon. What is today? 21st, so should be shipping tomorrow. We'll see if that happens. Um, that's the only one I'm missing now, but this is the one we're going to open. Um, we'll take a look at the box. I love the side. I love the colors matching the book. It, it's so beautiful. Um, and of course I, I, same design on the other ones other than the haunted mask right here. I do love the tombstone design. Whoever thought of that to put that on the back of these boxes, kudos to you, sir. And of course on the side, it says the haunted mask with a little picture there. And you got a little picture here, and of course the bottom, you know, just the barcode and a bunch of mumbo jumbo. That's not what we're here for. We're here for that Funko Pop. So let's take this sucker out and have a look. Ooh. Man, she really wanted out of there. I about dropped her. Thankfully, quick hands. Uh, because the uh, clamshell wasn't clasped together, like it was completely open already. So I was not expecting that, so I'm glad I caught that. But here she is. Check this, guys. I mean, how freaking sweet. She looks so good. Honestly, this is my favorite one of the Funkos so far. Uh, I still have yet to see the Werewolf Fever Swamp in person, and it looks great. Um, I would like a flocked one of those, actually, at some point. But, man, check this out. It's so cool. Easily my favorite Funko Pop. I am very biased, and I am not afraid to admit it. I love the Haunted Mask. 
And I love this Funko Pop. So Funko, again, thank you so much for bringing out Goosebumps Funko Pops. It's long overdue. I pray somehow, some way in the future, we can get the 90s TV show Funko Pops. Doubtful, but here's hoping. Uh, because we did just film today with Catherine Long, Catherine Short, and Amos Crawley uh, for our Halloween episode on the Goosebumps Crew podcast. And I did wear this. I have now considered myself the Kevin Smith of Goosebumps. I've got a Goosebumps hockey jersey. Got my hat backwards. I got my beard. I'm a big guy. I'm old version of Kevin Smith, okay? So that's where we're at. That's what I like. And I think that's what's going to happen. I think I'm going to I'm going to coin myself the Kevin Smith of Goosebumps. Um, pro probably no one's going to call me that. I just shaw one. But, bro, my lights are going crazy back here. What is happening? These string of lights have been fine all the way up till this video. So what the F? Haunted. Haunted Halloween. So before we get into the three haunted masks uh, that I ended up getting, since I can't do a review on the mummy one right now, let us take a look at the curly one. I'll tell you what, these masks are actually bigger than I gave them credit for in pictures. Um, I do like that they included like a clamshell inside to hold this face. Um, the back's caving in a little bit, but that's just from shipping. Um, and you can see a little bit there. Now, this is a design of Curly that some people aren't a huge fan of. I like it. Uh, I think it works for the Trick or Treat Studios design, what they're using him for on all their mascot stuff. For Goosebumps again, bringing him back, and I love that they are. I'll take Curly any way I can get him, man. I mean, this is legit. And check this out. The G-Splat, just like the 90s vinyl masks. Um, I just, oh, I'm so excited. Now I do have like a little like splotches down here. Um, maybe where the uh, mask was being made, I'm assuming. Uh, like little air bubbles that got caught in there. But vinyl, guys, vinyl. Uh, this will not rot. This will last you. Uh, now it will still tear just like those 90s ones did. But regardless, I mean, this looks amazing, guys. And... I was kind of hoping that the tags would be more uh, suited to like the 90s colors. Um, but Trick or Treat Studios kind of did their own design. Kind of give you that um, 2008, 2010 version of the artwork, uh, which is okay. And, you know, because the Goosebumps logo is still the classic Goosebumps logo that we all love. Uh, they didn't update it to the, the newer one that didn't have this part on here, this top part of the G and different font and whatnot. Um, but that's just a tag, uh, nothing too super duper fancy, um, but that is Curly. Now, I left him in his own box because, again, I didn't get a mummy with Curly like I should have. I got another haunted mask. Um, people at Tots, you know I love the haunted mask. Um, I don't need three. I don't need three. Um, shit. So we'll take a look at the one that came in Curly's box. Um, let me ugh, form this out here as best I can. It's going to have to probably sit on a mannequin head um, before it can really take shape because it's it's got a, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that, but that line where the mask was pushed in and it's got some, uh, I'm guessing paint. Uh, from Curly on here So that kind of sucks, but again, this is one I may not even have to keep um, But regardless, I mean look at this guy look how amazing this mask looks and again I love that they put plastic inserts in here to hold the shape so this looks Incredible just like the cover of the Goosebumps book that Tim Jacobus did. I I can't say <laughs> I cannot praise this thing enough. This looks so sick, guys. Uh, you know, in person, compared to photo, photos looked great too. I thought the photos looked phenomenal. And the paint job, honestly, is pretty good. Now, there's a few things I notice um, paint-wise, but, you know, you're going to kind of get those bleed-overs sometimes or, or what have you when it comes to this because they're mass-produced. But that's okay. Um, as you can see from a distance, it's not too bad. And again, I plan on putting uh, LED, like yellow LEDs in the eyes on the mannequin head I'm going to use. 
And again, this one has that lovely G splat on the back as well. Uh, tag is the same. It doesn't say the Haunted Mask or anything like that. It's just got the Trick or Treat Studios logo and the Goosebumps logo. Um, but yeah, oh my gosh, guys, this is absolutely gorgeous. I I am in love. The, the, this is a Haunted Mask haul of the week for sure. Uh, I don't know what else I'd be having this week come to me because I've been getting a lot of Haunted Mask stuff lately. But let me tell you what, like, holy cannolis, guys, holy cannolis. Um, and just so you can see, I mean, I ended up, again, I, I, I shouldn't have gotten three. I, two was what I ordered, but we got a third. Um, and again, I'm not a fan of how they uh, kind of pushed in the back. I mean, I get why they do it. But again, that leads to the uh, line that you saw in the other one, because this one will have it too um, in the vinyl. I, maybe at some point you can get it uh, creased out but it's just like a massive bump in the middle no pun intended on this by the way with the bump but maybe years over time you can get something and have it pushed out so it's not so noticeable um, but as of right now it's very noticeable from the sides like very noticeable it's the only complaint I actually have uh, when it comes to this so maybe if you only order one it's not going to be pushed in like that but if you order two or more masks um, they are definitely going to push in that to save space, and I understand, but as a mask collector and a Goosebumps collector, like I would rather have had it shipped like this, so that way maybe that bump wouldn't be necessary in that vinyl that goes from ear to ear. Um, yeah, looking at this one, it's uh, obviously, you know, just minor differences you see in paint specifically in the teeth and the drool that's really the only spot you can really tell where some paint differences happen uh the eye cuts seem to be very good uh they have that mesh over so that way if you wear it now isaiah has his uh if you've seen and he can't get it on his head and i kind of see why um it's a very small opening in the back and the slit is not very big it is a very small slit in the back um, it would have been better probably if they put it up here so people with you know adult size heads could fit in here um, but it's okay I don't intend on wearing this one I have one from the 90s show that I wear when I cosplay the haunted mask this is for me just a display piece but if you wanted to you could always recreate that cover as well with her in the front so you don't necessarily have to put it on if that's the case, but guys, you cannot go wrong with these masks from Trick or Treat Studios. Um, obviously out of the two, cause I can't say the three, this one to me is easily a 10 out of 10. Trick or Treat Studios, you guys freaking killed it. This is amazing. Um, kudos to the whole team uh, from Chris Zephro at the top all the way down to whoever the bottom man is shipping. Now I will say shipper, you didn't send me the right mask, but it's okay. We'll get it worked out. Um, but yeah, guys, absolutely killer. Love this, and I can't say <laughs> I can't say nice enough things about this. This is so cool. Uh, between this and the Funko guys, I mean, it is a good time to be a haunted mask fan and a Goosebumps fan. I mean, look at this. Look, look at what we're getting. Look at what we're getting here. Who would have thought? Over 30 years later, we would get some awesome Goosebumps, specifically Haunted Mask stuff, because I'm all about the Haunted Mask. But, you know, just for poops and giggles, we'll take a look at that third Haunted Mask. I'll get it out here. Because, again, I am keeping two of them. I'll just keep the two best ones. But as it stands, they both look, they all have looked good so far, the two I've looked at. And this one doesn't appear to be any exception. Um... Again, all vinyl. I just got to look at the um, paint job, and I think the one, like I said, that came with Curly, uh, some of the Curly paint kind of got onto the Haunted Mask, so I'll probably send that one back if they request it back um, rather than holding on to it. Because, again, I want my mummy, man. I don't want to pay for another one, and I don't need three Haunted Masks. Um, yeah, I would say I think the paint on the top bothers me more, but there is some paint, again, bleed over, from the teeth and things like that that you're going to see with mass produced but overall again solid mask solid paint job um it's a little 
paint defect there. But again, I mean, guys, God, I can't get over it. I can't get over it. Yeah, smile. It's like been a, it's been a good day. When you speak to the Haunted Mask cast, um, they're nothing but the greatest people to talk to. Uh, I love them all. There, <laughs> like I actually teared up a little bit when in our interview with them. I'm not gonna lie. You'll see me do this, and it's because I was actually starting to tear up a little bit. I don't care how stupid that sounds. So between talking to them today, the Haunted Mask Funko Pops, the Haunted Mask Mask from Trick or Treat Studios, and the curly one, guys, I'm I'm over the moon. This is a Halloween to remember, to quote the Haunted Mask. So, But that's all for today, guys. I mean, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you check out our Halloween special with the three cast members from the Haunted Mask. Both Catherine's long and short and Amos Crawley all deserve uh, the love and support that they get because they are just amazing. And I am really excited for you guys to watch that episode. It's a short one because there were some uh, scheduling uh, conflicts and things like that and they had prior engagements. But we will be sure to put that out and hopefully we'll get them all three back again and maybe even an additional guest from the Haunted Mask episodes. And I'll keep that under wraps for now and leave you with that. Till next time, guys, followers beware, you're in for a scare.